Hey gang, it's your pal Sparky here, and I've got a copy of the Automator's database without any data in it so Rose doesn't get mad at me. I uh, just wanted to show you how it works. We've got uh, these listings across show planning, episode number, title, guest, show outline, and a lot of these fields have different types of data. If you're using Airtable, one of the nice things, if you just right click on the top, you can customize the field type, and there are a lot of field types. I'm going to cancel it so we keep it the same but normally what we do is we put an episode number and then a title and once you do that it combines those over here in the episode title so uh, that's a it's a formula just grabbing this field and that field and combining them we can put a guest here we can also add guests under the guest tab so let's say uh, the guest is gonna be Harrison Ford yeah, that would be great, right? Um, and then we put notes, attachments. We can, we've can we got a field for prior appearances. Go back over to show plane. We're going to add them as a guest. See, it already pulled it up because as soon as we populate him to the guest field, he shows up for us. See what I mean about automating automators? Um, we've got an outline. That's a link field. Um, the, you can have a URL as a link, and right now we're tying that over to a quip. Uh, document in the quip service but we can also add additional notes attachments uh, we take turns being responsible for the show so let's say that it's david it's not in this field yet so i'm going to add david and then i'm going to add one for rose too and once you've got that in there you can go through and you can uh, tweak that a little bit so you can make it work better for you. The recording date's cool. Uh, we'll say we're going to record this on uh, June 1st. Uh, didn't do very good at that. I'm going to just go ahead and select it this way. There we go. June 1st. Uh, you know what? I typed it. I should have used the numbers. And then we can also put the release date and I can type it now that I remember that. 615 19. And it found it for me. Good. And uh and the nice thing is once you go over here, you don't have to just show us grid view. You can show a recording calendar. And if I go to June 1st, you can see there it is. I can go to a release calendar and that's gonna show up on June 15th. Um, we've got outstanding ads, so it'll look at the ads for the shows if we haven't, if we haven't turned them in yet. Um, it's just a great thing. This open items one is just kind of an open database where we can write things down between each other. We want to keep track of, I already showed you guests. We have a host overview since both Rose and I are attached to this one. Uh, it's going to show for both of us. That's normally not the way we do it, but there you go. And we have an accounting tab where if we spend money on, things for the show, hosting, meals, whatever, we can keep track of it between us. It's a simple database, uh, but it's got some nice hooks between it. And uh, the things I like about Airtable are the customizability, the way it's kind of a database plus a spreadsheet, and the fact that you can collaborate on it. I mean, this is very powerful for collaboration. And since we got one person in Austria and one person in the United States, it's pretty nice having this shared space on the internet. Either way, uh, this is our Airtable. I uh, hope it inspires you to build your own.